Previously, we have done a review on the EQSA E900 and the E900 Pro gaming headphones. Now, yes, both those previous gaming headsets have indeed quite similar to each other. But today we've got another model, which is the E900DL. Yes, I know they do look almost the same, but just little bits of detail spruced up. But for £33, that's 43 in US dollars, are they just as good? Well, let's check them out, shall we? Now, for an average price set of gaming headphones, what do we get? Well, like most of the EKSA gaming headset products, we get the usual EKSA embedded PU leather pull cord bag. Hmm. Obviously, the headphones are inside. We're going to place them to the side just for now. But accessory wise, we get a usual EKSA detailed user manual, which also has a setup guide. There's a white extension cable in case you want to use this headset on your PC or laptop. And we've got the detachable unidirectional microphone. Let's take a look at the headset, shall we? Now, although the E900DLs look a lot like the E900 and the E900 Pros, these are certainly much more heavier. Only really slightly though, really. 345 grams, in fact. Now, these are the full black versions. They do come with ever so slightly thicker air pads. They are detachable, by the way, so yes, they are replaceable. And we've got full extendability with those side arms, with those 40mm driver units rocking back and forth for full comfortability. As these headphones, yes, they do fit quite comfortably and firmly upon your head due to their massive flexibility. To match those ear pads, we've got a very thick padded headband. To the top, as you can see, we've got that EKSA logo that's embedded. And to the side of those driver units, we've got a mesh grill design with that illuminated logo that lights up thanks to those RGB built-in lights that is powered via that USB that's attached to that 1.8 meter versatile rubber coated cable. Now, although the USB does only power the lights, so mostly it will only be really accessible via PC or laptop, you can indeed use this headset with a power bank should you wish. That is, if you are indeed intending to give an aesthetically pleasing look when playing, for example, a PS4 or PS5 console. Now, you can plug that 3.5mm audio jack straight into your PS5 or PS4 console controller. If you want those lights on, again, you're going to have to plug that USB into a power source. But towards the top of that rubber coated cable, which I honestly do wish this was in fact a braided cable, just for better durability, well, we get an inline remote control unit with a slider switch microphone mute button and a volume control wheel that sits to the side. Now, with that detachable mic, it just fits in just like so, using that 3.5mm end plugged right into that 3.5mm port on the left-hand side of that driver unit. It's not a bad concept having it detached, because you can, in fact, use this headset, for example, with your mobile phone, using them as a normal pair of headphones. And you know what? They certainly don't look <laughs> out of place. They actually do provide some above-average bass when playing music, pretty good high tones too, but for its use, <clears throat> they don't mind. for a gaming headset, got to be quite honest, it was certainly quite surprising. Alright guys, so we've been playing The Last of Us Part 2 for a few hours now. This is indeed on the PS5 console, so we've hooked this headset up to the controller, as you can see. And now we've got to be quite honest, we can in fact hear distant gunshots, and we can actually pinpoint the direction of that particular gunfire. So the audio is not too bad, we can actually pick up very small intricate details. You see, the gunfire is coming from the right hand side, just over there. As you might be able to tell, the microphone pickup is quite impressive too, with the microphone sitting around about two inches away from my mouth. Now, within the headphone package, again, you might have noticed that there's no foam filter for the end of that microphone. It doesn't mean there's going to be much distortion though, especially when it is placed a bit of a distance away from your mouth. So, when you've got a few jump scares and you're screaming like this... Ah! Like this! But yeah, the microphone, when it's placed a bit of a distance away from your mouth, um, the microphone pickup is quite impressive. And furthermore, when it is placed direct in front of your mouth, it's still quite good too. So yeah, fantastic use of that omnidirectional microphone. But the audio quality is the most impressive part, actually. May she guide you. Yeah, guide you right into a freaking uh, a wind turbine at full speed. Nyan, 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 nyan.
I, I, I just can't. When you're playing with Abby, I've got no passion. I just want to run her straight into anything, really. Off a cliff. We've done every type of death scene, by the way, with her. Me, 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 yeah, the audio quality, really fantastic with this headset. I got to be quite honest, even though it does not have 7.1 surround sound, which is basically only really compatible when using those particular headsets on a PC with that EKSA uh, surround sound app. The audio pickup is quite good. I'd say on par with the E900s and the E900 Pros. And yes, I'd certainly say that they are very good in combat games, Call of Duty and games such as this, The Last of Us Part 2. So yeah, quite an impressive game in headset. And I should say they can recommend them. Boom! Boom! Oh, boom! Whammy! Double whammy! Yeah, overall this headset is not too bad. I certainly feel that they do look better than the E900s and the E900 Pros. I just prefer be like the full black versions and they definitely do feel comfortable on my ears after using them for a very long while. Okay, the ear pads just about sit on the very edge of my ears, but my ears never felt sweaty not even at once. For an average price gaming headset that you can most definitely use as a standalone set of headphones, I think that these EKSA E900s DL certainly do tick a number of boxes. They are multi-platform compatible, so for example again you can use them with a PS4, PS5 console, even an Xbox One or Nintendo Switch. Those high density drivers most certainly provide an in-game isolated experience, where you can hear for example the lightest footsteps, the biggest explosions, to distant gunfire. Overall, those RGB lights just set these headphones off, bringing you a very aesthetically pleasing set of headphones that look good within your gaming atmosphere. For audio with these headphones, we are going to give them a 9 out of 10 today. For comfort, we're going to give them a 10 out of 10. The microphone quality, another 9 out of 10, with our overall rating for this EKSA E900 DL headset sitting at 9 out of 10. Now, if you want to check these out for yourself, I have left a link in the video description down below for you guys to go ahead and check it out. Also, go ahead and check out our new channel, which is Games from the Script. That link also will be provided too. But most importantly today, I'd very much appreciate the support if you please like and share this video. Also, go ahead and support this channel by subscribing, making sure though to hit that bell notification option so you guys stay updated on our very next upload. Now it's been fantastic reviewing all these EKSA products this week and we're going to be doing some more fantastic tech reviews in the next few days so stay tuned for them. But as usual guys, please stay safe and thank you ever so much for watching. Peace!